The cream de la cream of the sports industry will converge under one roof tomorrow evening for the 14th edition of the Sports Personality of the Year Awards. The Soy Awards founder Paul Tergat has expressed confidence that the awards will live up to the billing. It's just a day to the 2017 edition of the Sports Personality of the Year Awards with various sportsmen and women are fighting for honours in different categories. We get to speak to the Soya Awards founder, Paul Tergat, ahead of the 14th edition. I'm really excited that this, this uh, award is still going on until today. The most important thing is that it gets even more exciting when you see new sportsmen fighting each and every year to make sure that maybe they get this, uh, they get into the list of the finalists of the Soya Awards. And I think this is something that uh, it has uh, encouraged and motivated most of our sportsmen to make sure they achieve the very best. If we can be able to encourage most of, most of these sportsmen to be able to stay longer and participate longer carrying the flag of the country in most of the international engagements, I think that is something. One of the main things that have really satisfied me and I'm happy for the last 14 years is that there's, there has never been any complaint in terms of who we are honoring or awarding when it comes to soya. Because we put all the systems above board to make sure that it is the only who deserves, deserves to be recognized and awarded. In a bid to celebrate Kenya's sportsmen and women achievements, the celebrity sports guest at the 2017 edition of the Sports Personality of the Year Awards will be former Kenyan international Mike Okov, commonly known these days for being a Divok Oregis father. I feel honored because it's, I think, if I'm not wrong, it's the first time that a Kenyan is being invited to, to such a, an event, which is a big event. And congratulations to, to Paul and his team and the sponsors for organizing such an, an event for, for quite a long time. Everybody needs recognition, and if somebody accepts and, and recognizes what, what you have achieved, it's a big thing, and you feel proud, and you want to do more. And I think this is part of, the, of that. So other players, because I see also there's a school category, it's like you are building the, the, the youth also. You're giving them confidence. You're giving them something to, to look up to. Well, of course, we'll be looking forward to tomorrow to see who comes out as the uh, winner at the Soy Awards. Now, Athletics Kenya today named the teams that will be taking part in the World Half Marathon Championships in Valencia and Commonwealth Games in Australia. So let's take a look at the teams that were named this afternoon. And we start with the World Half Marathon team where Geoffrey Camoror, who is the defending champion, is a cross country, is the world cross country champion, leads the team with uh, Bernard Karoki, who finished second in 2016. We also have Joram Okombo, Leonard Basoton, and Baselias Kipiagon in the men's category. We move on. To the women's category, we have uh, uh, Jocelyn Jepkosge, who is the world half marathon record holder, leading the women's team. For, and she is with, together with Fancy Chemtai, Ruth Chepnetich, Pauline Kaveke, and Mary Washera. Now, the Commonwealth Marathon team was also selected, and we look at uh, the people that the men in the uh, the people that will be taking part in the men's marathon. We have Kenneth Mburu, Nicholas Kamakia and Julius Karinga. The women that will be representing Kenya in the marathon in the Commonwealth Games will be Sheila Jerotich, Shelmeth Muriuki, and Helen Zembi. So these are the people, uh, men and women, that will be representing Kenya at the uh, World Half Marathon Championships and uh, Commonwealth Games later on in, uh, in the year. Now, we move on to tennis. The East Africa Junior Tennis Championships came to an end today with Team Kenya winning all the single events. Kenya's Jason Bogoro of the boys' under-14 category beat Rwanda's junior Hazikumwami 6-0 in the first set and 6-2 in the second set. The boys' under-16 category saw Kenya's Derek Omondi defeat Rwanda's Joseph Chiza in sets of 6-3 and 6-4. Alicia Owegi also emerged victorious in a match against Uganda's Leah Kai Mosimani. In the doubles under 14 category, Kenya's Angela Okutoi and Alicia Owegi merged with a 7-5-6-1 win, while Jason Bogoro and Carl Shah dominated the boys' tournament with a 6-1-6-0 win. It's the qualification for the Africa competition. 
For the other 14, they are qualifying to play in South Africa in March. For the other 16, they are qualifying to play in Tunisia in April. Burundi used to dominate a lot. Now we are with, we've been practicing, we've been doing all we can, and uh, Kenya now is dominating in the region. The competition is it's not easy and also it's not that tough. Players also have improved and it's different from last year's. This game he's done right now, he tried his best because last year he w Derek won him 6-love, six 6-love, six but today he won him 6-4, six 6-3. Six